In this class, we are going to discuss the relation between k operator and x operator. By verifying all the four properties, we have accepted the form of infinitesimal translation operator as t of dx dash equal to 1 minus i k dot dx dash. Here is the time to derive an extremely fundamental relation between k operator and x operator. Let us do an operation. x into t of dx dash operating on x dash that is equal to x into t of dx dash operating on x dash will provide the state shifting of the state into x dash plus dx dash and equal to if x of x operating on x dash plus dx dash we will get x dash plus dx dash second value on state on state x dash plus dx dash this is equation 1 and If you are operating in this way, t of dx dash into x operating on get x will give t of dx dash into an eigenvalue x dash to an eigenvalue x dash into get x dash. And then it's equal to eigenvalue this is an eigenvalue x dash and this is an eigenvalue x dash and uh, if you are operating on t of dx dash on x dash we will get x dash plus dx dash this is equation 2 then equation 1 minus equation 2 will give to will give x t of dx dash minus t of dx dash into x is operating on get get x dash get x dash here is also it's get x dash and the right side we will get that is equal to x dash plus dx dash minus x dash minus x dash into get x dash plus dx dash this is equal to dx dash into ket x dash plus dx dash and this term is commutator bracket of x t of dx dash operating on x dash equal to dx dash on x dash plus dx dash and this is approximately equal to dx dash into into ket x dash this approximation is because dx dash here we are considering as an eigenvalue. If we want to consider this as, a, this as an operator, then we need to multiply this with an identity operator i. So this this term mathematically means we are multiplying the value t x dash with the state x dash plus d x dash. 
this will give dx dash into x dash plus dx dash square dx dash is a small value so square of it will become too small and we can ignore this term and we will get dx dash into x dash this we can write as dx dash dx dash operator is operating on x dash that's why we reached in this approximation okay so this commutator bracket is an operator and if you are multiplying with this eigenvalue with an identity operator this uh, this is also an operator so we can equate this operator commutator bracket x t of dx dash equal to an operator dx dash this is an operator this equal to a number multiplied with an identity operator in some particular direction that is the meaning of this this dx dash and we know what is t of dx dash and we can expand this as x into 1 minus i k dot dx dash minus 1 minus i k dot dx dash into x equal to dx dash that we can expand as x minus i x into k dot dx dash minus x plus i into k dot dx dash into x equal to dx dash that implies minus i x into k dot d x dash d x dash plus i into k dot d x dash into x equal to d x dash since this term got cancelled since uh, i don't want to dwell the whole derivation in this video mm. so i have taken a ready-made derivation which i have already written here uh, in this step we have to uh, remember an identity uh, that is the right hand side dx dash this is the right hand side the dimension of right hand side is dimension of length this is small distance so dimension of right hand is right hand side is dimension of length so the dimension of left hand side also should be dimension of length and this is a distance and this is a distance and uh, <clears throat> so dimension of this term also is dimension of length so dimension of LHS should be equal to dimension of RHS the dimension of k dot dx dash dimension of k dot dx dash should be zero or k dot dx dash term should be dimensionless this you have to remember dimension of dimension of k dot dx dash k the term k dot dx dash should be dimensionless dimension less so we can expand this term that is minus i into um, uh, x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap into k dot dx dash is k x dx dash plus k by dy dash plus k z d z dash and so on okay and right side dx dash we have taken as dx dash i cap plus dy dash j cap plus d z dash k cap and we are multiplying this this term with this x vector x 
that is we will get minus i into x k x d x dash plus x k by d y dash plus x k z d z dash and so on this is i or x component okay <coughs> and when uh, then we are giving this equation as equation a okay the both side contains x component y component and z components so we are equating uh, uh, x component on both side so when we are equating the x components of both sides we are just taking the x component of rhs is dx dash uh, x component of R, rhs is dx dash and x component of lhs is minus i into x k x dx dash plus etc this whole term okay so we can rearrange this lhs as i into kx dx dash x minus x kx dx dash plus etc okay and in another step we have to consider this term dx dash the whole terms means kx dx x all are operators but the importance of dx dash term is the operator dx dash is a number into an identity operator into i cap because here we have taken the x component so dx is a number into an identity operator uh, so position of the identity operator is not a matter of concern so we can take it outside that is i into dx dash i into dx dash into kx into kx x minus x kx plus etc we will get this last line in the rhs there is only dx dash term there is no dy dash term or there is no dz dash term so we can understand this term should be equal to zero and this term should be equal to zero and the coefficient of this term that is i into kx x minus x dx should be equal to 1 so we can write this step as i into this is actually commutator bracket of this is dx dash commutator bracket of kx x plus this is actually commutator bracket of commutator bracket of k y x and plus dz into commutator bracket of uh, commutator of k z x that is equal to dx dash this is a d z dash this is a d y dash so we can write uh, this as minus i dx into x k x here we have written k x x that's why we are considering as a min minus sign outside and we can write x k x plus d y x k y plus d z x k x k z that is equal to d x dash so and the right side there is only dx dash term there is no dy dash there is no dy dash term and there is no dz dash term so we can consider this uh, this minus i into x k y equal to 0 minus minus i into x k z equal to 0 minus i into x k x only should be equal to 1 from here we can write it as x commutator of x k x equal to 1 by i equal to i and this is an operator so here i into an identity operator i into an identity operator will be there if we consider the y component in this derivation if we consider the uh, y component and z components we will get the remaining relations so generally we can write as uh, commutator bracket of x i k j equal to i into delta i j where delta i j equal to 1 when i equal to j and equal to 0 when i 
not equal to j this we can write generally by considering y component z component as well as x components this is an important relation actually i have been explained the physical significance of this operator kj i'll explain in next classes uh, here the term delta ij is understood to be multiplied by the identity operator since the left side is an operator the right side also should be an operator so delta ij is understood to be multiplied with an operator identity operator okay